Let's take a closer look at MotoGP's latest aero developments. Ducati found a new playground for wings, the seat area. After aerodynamic devices like bodywork and front wing have been increasingly restricted, new wings at the rear end of the bikes appeared. The shape is very interesting as it combines a cascade of 3 to 4 horizontal elements which merge into two vertical wing elements. The horizontal cascade has an extreme forward angle, so it is most likely aimed at increasing rear downforce and the braking at high pitch angles. In addition to that, the cascade can support the upper Stegosaurus wings and allow more aggressive shapes here, similar to a beam wing in F1. While leaning into the corner, the vertical wings can help to increase downforce. So it seemed like a good idea and the other Italian brand, Aprilia, immediately picked up on that. So it became a new aero war of the two Italian brands. Aprilia's current weakness is rear stability, so it seemed like exactly what they needed. They created an elegant wing a bit further forward below the seat, which consists of two horizontal elements for straight line downforce and an inwashing vertical wing probably to reduce the weight behind the bike. They tried another version with one horizontal element and one vertical element as well, followed by a two element cascade for straight line downforce and an inwashing end plate. In addition to that, we could also find a horizontal rear wing between their Stegosaurus elements at the back to stabilize the rear. So just like in F1, MotoGP teams find more areas to develop their aerodynamics further and bikes get more and more extreme, but also more and more aero sensitive. How do you like the latest MotoGP aero developments? Let me know in the comments below and check out my other videos for more.